Okay, here's the next spot to Siege of Hefe Castle. We march now. I leave the rest to you. As you wish. Please, be careful. Do not worry about me. Worry about you. Take care of yourself first. We can always retake the castle. Alright, as always the intro. Riding on his famed steed, Red Hair, Lu Bu easily catches up with Liu Bei and obliterates his forces at Changbang. Lu Bu then heads east and enters the new castle at Heifei. This is to be the base for his next campaign against Wu. Meanwhile, Sun Se of Wu, unwilling to sit and wait for his death, quickly organizes an army to attack Lu Bu. Through the death maneuvering of the strategist Lu Zun, the Wu army is able to completely surround Heifei Castle in a single evening. Stating that sieges did not fit his style of battle, Lu Bu charges out of the gates, leaving Diao Chan behind. Depending on his might alone, Lu Bu fights valiantly outside the gates, but he is slowly being pulled away from the castle. A dark shadow approaches Heifei Castle in the absence of its lord. All right, the equipment's the same, the weapons the same, the items, I'm going to leave them the way they are. The bodyguards, we're still going to keep it at 8, obviously, because we ain't going any lower than that, and we ain't going higher either, since 8's the max. The equipment's going to be the same, the conditions. As soon as it's defeated, we win. If I die, or Dia Chan gets killed, then we lose, it's a game over. Plain and simple, unit info. Uh, this is the first time I'm playing this particular map on Extreme Legends. But uh, when you look at Wu's forces, with the exception of sub-officers, it's basically the same exact roster as the regular. I mean, if you're playing as soon as, uh, well, if you complete as soon as Musumo that is, then he'll be here too. But the only difference is the uh, layout is obviously different with the generals being all in completely different locations. But, um, yeah, enough of that. Uh, we did the intro, so let's do it. Hold on, Yao Chan! I will soon be by your side! You dare to stand against me? Move or you will die! Alright, I'm immediately pausing it so I can figure out where I'm going. Alright, so we're gonna defeat the first general, Zenji. And just like when we did in the other ones, we're gonna get the items and weapons in this battle too. Just like we did in the Mountain Bandit campaign and all the other levels that have item drops. I, an I mean, just by looking at the finding a box and breaking. Alright, so that's one general down. Now we're gonna go for a Juge Jin. So they join. We must be triumphant. So far, so good. Alright, so... We... we oh, there he is. Really? 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 There we go. 
Last thing I needed was two clashes in a row. Alright. So we defeated two generals up front. Now, I'm going to actually make a left and defeat Gan Ning next. Well, technically, this sergeant that knocked me off my horse. And that sergeant too. Alright. It doesn't even look like he's in battle. Well, him personally. Anyway, so, uh, I think there's a weapon over here. Yes, there is. We'll grab it. Then we're gonna go and defeat Gan Ning. Without getting attacked by that sergeant there. Alright. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I honestly thought that was the gate captain well the gate leading out of bounds but apparently I was wrong all right so now we'll go in here and obviously we defeat Gan Ning uh, I think this way for me is a little bit easier I mean it depends on which route you take but if you defeat each and every general Gan Ning Lu Xun and Lu Meng the gates behind them will open and you could enter well you could always go around the arrow trap but those gates will open. That was harsh. Boy, are you unlucky running into me like this? This doesn't look good. All right, so that's one down. Sorry, gotta go. Yeah, one down as in the three gates. So, this gate will open after you defeat Gan Ning. Like so. Alright, so next we're going to go and defeat Lu Xun. But, uh, something tells me that Wei Xu is going to get killed. So I might want to be a little bit careful here. What's his morale, anyway? Okay, three. So that's not bad. So we could go and defeat Lu Xun. And there he is. Shall we begin? On guard. Okay, when it comes to those reinforcements, it's nothing really special because there's absolutely no troops or sub officers there. So no need to worry about that. So we defeat Zhu Ron and Lu Xun. I forgot about Zhu Ron for a moment there. I defeated an officer. I didn't think it would get this bad. Ack. He got health back, I knew it. Impressive. Ow. Not cool. 
Yeah, let's get rid of that guard captain because he's the one that's really attacking me. Alright, so that's second of two gates, well, second of three gates, I should say, not two. Two gates down, three to go. That, wow, fail. Not only I'm failing with, the audio, with my recording, but I'm failing with the game. Alright, so, yeah, two down, one more to go, and that's Lu Meng. Alright, so... My horse should be over here. There we go. And, um, I'm gonna actually exit the gate this way. Because, well, the only way to get to Lu Ming is going to the other side. Going around, because, well, it only opens from one side. So, we'll defeat Lu Ming and then continue the battle. Because what's left is really not much, because all we have left is Sun Chung Xiong, Lu Meng, which he's going to be defeated soon, and uh, Sun Xiao. Then after that, you got Sun Tzu. And uh, hopefully we'll get to them in time. I'm not concerned about... Uh, this doesn't look good. About, I mean about Wei Shu. Zhang Liao is the one I was concerned about. Okay, he's fine. Let's go defeat Lu Meng. There we go. There he is. I have nothing against you, but this is war. I don't even, don't even dare try that. And he's not even the one that attacked me. His troops did. You know what? I got an idea. As long as he's on, uh, well, he didn't fling me. Well, that he didn't fling me far, so you know, I shouldn't be complaining that bad. Well, that much. This is not a time to be brave. Alright, and this archer has to go. There we go. And I didn't stop in between uh, sentences there. Well. I mean, in a way I did, but my voice was just about to crack, so I'm glad I stopped when I did. But uh, yeah, that crossbow needed to go. So, we opened all three gates, which is a wonderful thing. Now, we'll start with... Oh, we only have three left, you know. I mean, we only had three left if you include Sun Tzu. So, let's go defeat Sun Chang Xiang first. You know what? No, I got a better idea. I got a much better idea. Apparently when you approach Sun Tzu, there's a little, uh, a different dialogue cutscene, whatever you want to call it. I haven't tried it, but, uh, I read on the, uh, GameFAQ site that there is. If you, uh, get Sun Tzu to retreat to the northeast side of the, uh, map which is that broken bridge that we always go to try to get that musa wine and uh i'm gonna try to, i'm gonna try to trigger that if i can't then you know maybe i'll do it as bonus footage or something i don't know um there's some things i probably will do as bonus uh bonus bonus footage but uh right now we'll just approach the chen and it'll be a very small cutscene for that and what it really does is just increases Diao Chan's morale. 
We can't hold them. Alright, so once you approach Diao Chan, this happens. My lord. And like I said, it just increases our morale, and that's pretty much it. And you might want to go over here because the dim sum's over here. And I'm pretty sure we grabbed the Rusu wine, but uh, I'm going to. Yeah, I think we grabbed it already. Yeah. Yeah, I know I'm failing at the moment when it comes to remembering grabbing stuff, but you know. I have to head back there anyway. So we defeat Sun Chao. Sun Xiao's down, and all we have left is Sun Xiang Xiang. Does she have a sub officer? Yes, she does. All right. Don't underestimate me because I'm a woman. Wrong one. Alright. Wow. I'm not even attacking them yet. You know what? There we go. That takes care of what? A few? Out of what? Like 50 maybe? They need to get off their horses. That's just pissing me off. There we go. They're both down. Alright, so that's one. And there's the other. I do not want to die. Oh, not yet. Wow. Really? Are you afraid, Sunsei? Alright, now once you defeat everybody, Sun Tzu starts to retreat. And, um, hopefully he does that. I don't think he's gonna, though, because it looks like he's completely outnumbered on that bridge. Part of me hopes he does retreat, because that's probably one less thing I have to do on bonus footage. But, uh,. No. If it doesn't, then I have to probably play this on easy in order for it to happen. And, uh, yeah. I've been there and done that, so. I meant the easy part. And that's maybe. That's probably a question why people. Well, I know some people are arguing about it, but. 
the reason why I had played it on easy is because I did not want to take that long to do one video. I mean, some of my videos are long as it is just because, you know, that includes the, you know, the ending of the Musa modes. But, uh... Yeah, because if it, if it took a... Like, if I play it on a hard, there was no way I'll probably even manage to get through the recording properly. Let alone, you know... And let's say if I did, it might have lasted, like, maybe an hour. And, uh, we triggered the, uh, wind trap. Cause we need to grab that weapon. And, uh... We also need to go and grab the item over here. But, uh, like I was saying before, it took me maybe, I would take an estimate, an average between 40 to an hour, if I had played it on normal or hard, in the beginning. So that's why I probably, you know, plus for the fact that, you know, it's difficult as it is in the beginning of any Dynasty Warriors game, well, not, I shouldn't say any, but, more so, I was trying to get back to the basics of it in the beginning and I didn't have any items or weapons to begin with so you know part of me believes I you should have it on easy at least for that just to get a couple items in but uh yeah so all oh I forgot Ling Tong was still alive but uh the 33 30, 32 actually if I'm not mistaken 12 10 th yeah the 32 Musa modes that I did, those I did on easy. However, the uh, these Musa modes I'm doing now, Zhang Jiao, Dong Zhuo, Diao Chen, and Wu Bu, I these all are on normal. Um, you have to play it on normal if you're trying to get the special items. If you get, I don't think you can get it on easy. Uh, I never tried it, like I said. Um, I only made a couple of attempts of getting certain items, but that's pretty much it. And that's maybe a few, and I just didn't even try bothering at that point. And I think the ones I was really going for was the, uh, what was it? Um, this, not the speed demon challenge, but, I mean, that's one of them, but the challenges. I think this is... I think we already got the Musa line. Yeah, that's a fail of the moment there for me. Anyway, uh... So yeah, I'll be doing that, and then, uh... After this, we're gonna go back and... Grab the last two remaining items that I didn't get at Wuzhong Plains. Which is the only two items that I missed for that. And, uh, we'll start with fourth weapons. And obviously those, you have to play at least on hard. You wanna play on very hard? Be my guest. But I'm not 100% positive if you, you play on very hard, it will unlock. I only play on the minimum. Um, but right now, I am unfortunately have to go through this and trigger the archer um, trap. I really hate that trap. If he retreated, you probably wouldn't have seen me hit. This is war. Mercy is for the weak. Yeah, if he didn't retreat, I mean, if he did retreat to that bridge, then there was no way I would have triggered that. Why would I, you know? I mean, the archers just got killed off like it was nothing. Alright, so, all we have to do now is finish some stuff, and then, just the end of the battle. Okay, let's try this. Oh, so much for that, if he did a flip in the air, then I should have, I might have a little bit of a problem trying to do the 
juggling combo on him. Especially when you have a sergeant on a horse that's not going to get off. Well, so far so good. As long as I don't jinx it, you know, even even if y your own ally has a horse, it's still in your way. And that's the worst part because you can't even knock him off. I mean, that's why I hate when that happens. Well, that, that combo was my mess up because, well, I wanted to finish it because I knew I was going to get another hit in. Ow. Okay, he's almost dead. This is it. I guess it's not so bad. And that's a win. Alright, so I guess I didn't get that little thing. I might show it off. Pretty much I I'm probably might even I might just go for it next time. But uh I guess for me, I, the only way is probably getting hopefully having less allies or playing on easy and he'll retreat faster. But we'll see what happens. I'll do trial and error from here on out with that one. But it took around 20 minutes. Now that's a pretty badass item. I mean, wow, weapon. But uh, I'm not going to have it for much longer anyway. All right. Mighty God weapons. <laughs> what? what the? There's no point in having one of them. I mean, you know, both of them. Body God items. Okay, sweet. So, let's see what we got here. KO count 193. Meh. It was only 7 points less than the KO count. We have a worthy opponent count of 10. I think we only missed one officer, and that was Ling Tong. And uh, we kept all our bodyguards alive. Obviously, because they were shielding half the time. Well, not half the time, but all the time. I'd rather have them shield and attack because they're going to take my points away. Anyway, so a good 7,086 points. Awesome. So, will we get any growth points or any class upgrades? I don't think so at this rate. Nope. No growth points, but we got a class upgrade. Alright, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part. Peace.